New here at 4 o'clock, Chicago family is getting a new updated place to play just steps off the Magnificent Mile. WGN's Rob Sneed is live in Streeterville where a ribbon cutting ceremony just wrapped up. Rob. Just a few moments ago it did, but this is what the folks out here in the community have been waiting for. You can see uh, the kids playing here at Seneca Park, and uh, this is also the L.E.M. Schulman Playground is what you're looking at right now. This is uh, definitely state of the art, a lot of soft surfaces, a lot of things to keep kids safe. Members of the community say that they hope the upgrades uh, to this park will get more families out socializing and just getting to know each other, each other's neighbors. The park that we're replacing was 31 years old and the playground equipment was 31 years old. It was rusty, it had bolts sticking out, sharp jagged edges. It was actually very hazardous. So we were This playground has not seen a facelift since 1990. The new playground is 60%, 16% larger uh, with soft surfaces for safety, of course. Now, the design inspired by the Chicago Water Tower and neighboring firehouse. Now, at the time, the mayor and governor named the playground after their friend, uh, restaurateur Eli uh, Schulman. Uh, today, so many talked about how he inspired them and how he was giving and gave, those, uh, gave help to those in need. Tonight, a local businessman tells us how how much he appreciates the Schulman. When I moved back to Chicago in 1979, the first place my dad wanted me to go was Eli's the place for steak. I show up and Eli looks at me and says, no way, and he has a, a, a jacket to make, because I wasn't dressed enough. And it, back then it was a fancy place. So he had a jacket waiting for me and uh, became friends with him ever since. So many of those stories shared today here at the ribbon cutting. You just heard one of those uh, just a few seconds ago. Uh, and now that this playground is completed, the uh, Alderman, Alderman Hopkins says uh, more upgrades will happen here at the park in due time. Of course, again, you can see right now the kids look like they're having a good time despite some of the sprinkles and some of the rain that we've been seeing today. Reporting live in Streeterville, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Park is already busy. Thanks, Rob.